हम लोग श्री श्री चैतन्य चैतामृतम मध्य लीला महाप्रभुरी We've heard how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He, after taking bath in the Manasi Ganga, after doing pranam, obeisances to Govardhan, and he started to make stavastuti prayers to get it out. In Shrimad Bhagavatam, Shukadev Goswami. He tells the Parikhet Maharaj this Katha, which is called the Venugit. Hantayo Udri Avala Haridasu Varjo Jad Rama Krishna Charana Swarasa Pramoda Manam Tanoti Saha Gopa Ganeo Sayurijat Paniya Sujavasa Kandara Kandamulai Is Benigut Kipar Shila Gurudev Ne Shila Gurudev In a very beautiful way He described this shloka of the Venu Gita from Govardhan about Giriraj Govardhan. Maybe two or three days I'm just speaking about the same shloka. What is called the Haridas, servants of Hari. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, especially three Haridasas are described in the Bhagavatam. One is Judhisthira Maharaj, second Uddhav, Uddhav. And third, Giriraj Govardhan. Das means servant, a servant. Sevak or Sebo or Seva. Gauriya Darshan me teen vustu am lete hai. So in our Gaudiya, Gaudiya philosophy, Sevo, three things are there. Sevaka, Sevya, Seva. and Seva means the service, that person who is serving and who is being served. So Sevya is who is being served. So I am Bhagavan. Sevak is those who serve Bhagavan. The Vaishnavas. And Seva. So for Gauriya Vaishnavas, three things are there. Sambandha, Abhideya and Prayojana also. So in this context, we have been listening. How Mahaprabhu himself, he saw Giriraj as Bhagavan and he praised. He's, pra he's praising Giriraj, right? And another thing, the bhav of Mahaprabhu, he's absorbed in the bhav of Srimati Radhika. Humbly, so much, just like Srimati Radhika in her Mahabhav stage, she's showing, she's saying, oh, look at this high service of Giriraj in her humility, her humility, she's saying, look at how is the service of Giriraj. This Giriraj Govardhan, how? He's serving. Govardhan, Go means cow. Go means also Brahmana. Go means the Vrajavasis. Go means the Upanishads, Vedas. Vardhayate, Govardhan. Vardhan comes from Vardhayate. Go also means senses. So Go has many meanings. How many meanings? Three already. Go also means Vedas, Shastras. 
गो शब्द के पृथ्वी अनेकों शब्द गो ऑफ मीन्स अर्थ मेनी मीनिंग्स मेनी मीनिंग्स फॉर गो इसको कहते हैं पर्जायवाचक शब्द कहा जाता है वर्धयति जिसको वर्धन वर्धयति दैट इंक्रीजेस हाउ इंक्रीजेस हां अपने प्रेम के द्वारा विथ हिज प्रेम इसलिए इनके नाम है गिरिराज सो दैट्स व्हाई हिज नेम इज गिरिराज गोवर्धन तो इसलिए चैतन्य महाप्रभु सो चैतन्य महाप्रभु also said absorbs in radha bab the mood of smatraka mahaprabhu is saying look how giriraj govardhan is serving krishna usi sandarbh mein in this context hum log gurudev ki pravachan we were reading from gurudev's class isn't it about it gurudas pehle banna padta hai so first you have to become gurudas actual path pehle hota hai ki vaishnav das gurudas Okay, first Vaishnava Das and then Guru Das. First servants of Vaishnava and then servants of Guru and then Mahaprabhu Das, servants of Mahaprabhu. Then Krishna Das and then you can become Radha Das. Servants of Shrimati Radha. Was very difficult to become. Hari Das. Even even Guru Das is very difficult to be, be, be Guru Das. So we were listening that. ये कितने प्रकार के गुरुदास होते हैं हाउ मेनी काइंड्स ऑफ गुरुदास इसके बारे में भी श्री गुरुदेव ही बताया श्री गुरुदेव टोल्ड अबाउट दिस और भगवान के दास नहीं करण भगवान जो अल्प सुकृतिमान है दो सो आर हैव लेस सुकृति उनके भगवान दास रूप में सेवक रूप में भगवान स्वीकार नहीं वुड नॉट एक्सेप्ट देम एज सर्वेंट्स इसी संदर्भ में कह रहे क्या इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट जैसे शिष्य ब्रुवक कहा जाता है वी गिव वी हर्ड अबाउट द शिष्य ब्रुव बताया गया व्हाट वर्ड आई सेड शिष्य ब्रुव शिष्य ब्रुव शिष्य नहीं है इज एक्चुअली दिस पर्सन इज नॉट अ सर्वेंट नॉट शिष्य दिखाते हैं बट जस्ट एक्सटर्नली ही इज शोइंग ही टुक दीक्षा मंत्र बट एक्चुअली ही वांट्स नेम फेम रिपुटेशन ही वांट्स धन संपत्ति आदि मे बी वेल्थ कमाने में अथवा परिवार टू गेट मनी और टू लाइक रेज इट keep his family or something like that so this is actually the piston hypocrisy you know or actually he wants to do, do bad like he wants to show to make somebody feel inferior or he wants to maybe do harm to someone so what is shishya bruva guru dev said iske udaharan so the example कौन कौन था हु हु वाज द एग्जांपल एक अलब के बारे में बताया एक कलाव्य ना एंड वी हर्ड काल एक लब्ब के कथा हम श्रवण किया यस दे वी हर्ड अबाउट द कलाव्य एक लब्ब वास्तव रूप में वो दैट ए कलाव्य एक्चुअली एक लब्ब जो है एक कलाव्य वास्तव रूप में द्रोणाचार्य जी की गुरु नहीं मानते हैं एक्चुअली ही एक्चुअली वाज नॉट रियली थिंकिंग दैट द्रोणाचार्य वाज हिज गुरु नो केवल अपने स्वार्थ सिद्धि के लिए ही जस्ट वांटेड टू Swartha Siddhi means he just wants to have his own interest fulfilled. Understand? Or who dusta log ke mitrata bhi kar. And he also he did friendship with uh, yeah. bad people, evil people. I call it dia. Or. आगे की कथा हम श्रवण करते हैं सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू द कथा ये एक अलब और सो वी हर्ड अबाउट द कलाव्य एंड वो अपने 
so he learned by himself he learned and externally he wanted to preach the guru's glories the glories of guru especially he wanted to make the Pandavas like feel inferior. He wanted to make the Pandavas inferior. So, Dronacharya asked for his thumb as like a donation. We've heard about this yesterday. And in the end, in the war of Mahabharata, Bhagavan Krishna himself with his chakra he killed he killed to him so actually there is no spirituality in this who was the guru of Pandavas and Kauravas Dronacharya so but Ekalavya came for what for learning but the goal of Ekalavya was to meet the Kauravas and to defeat the Pandavas actually this was his goal so that's why Gurudev had told that he knew that the Ekalavya was friend of Duryodhan and etc you want to say, yeah, why did the Dronacharya gave teaching to Durujodhan? He gave, he, like, Dronacharya, he didn't give instruction to, to Ekalavya, but gave teaching to, to Duryodhan. Then why? Yeah, but actually because Dronacharya, he was hired to give teaching to all the family of Kaurava, the Kurus. To all the family, royal family, you know, he was the guru of weapons. So all the people from this royal family. But Ekalabya, he came from outside. You know, another thing is that his goal was actually he was not even even like Kshatriya. Before actually, in the Shastra says, who could learn Astra Vidya? I mean, the knowledge of the weapons and archery and all this like. Uh, Bellico, how do you say, like a warfare, warfare knowledge from where? Only to Kshatriyas, you know? Because if, if a Shudra knows about these weapons and everything, he will do bad use, like he'll, he'll do misuse, he'll misuse his knowledge if a Shudra knows about where, warfare. No, you say that this all um, knowledge about uh, war and fighting, weapons, this thing. So, but Duryodhan, Duryodhan, he was from family, royal family. According to Shasta, he had qualification because he was from royal family, Duryodhan. Understand? But the Kalavya, the son of Hiranyadhanu, first that he was a Shudra, he was from low class, low caste, sorry, low caste. And he, his nature was bad. His goal actually was to meet Duryodhan and to defeat the Pandavas and like to make the Pandavas inferior like this. So that's why Dronacharya didn't allow him, allow him to learn. Because yesterday I said there are two paths, Aruhavad and Abaruhavad, remember? So the ascending process and descending process. So he learned by himself, but then Dronacharya like said, you are not qualified to learn this. So yesterday also we heard who was his another disciple? Tamasik Gurudas, we've heard. So who, who is the example of Tamasik Gurudas? Name of Karna. Karna is also like this. What is the goal of Karna? 
He was against also Pandavas, and especially Arjun. Arjun was the devotee of Lord. And Dronacharya had a, a, a norm, like a spontaneous affection for Arjun because, you know, Arjun was a devotee of Lord. But what did he do? Karna, he, he met Durjodhan and he wanted to he wanted to make the Pandavas feel like being inferior. You see, he, this was also his nature. Remember in the in the time they were playing the dice, Karna was also evil. He said, when when one in the dice, you know that dice when they were playing the dice, when Dushasan came dragging Draupadi by her hair. Uh, and uh, Karna, he said, oh, he, she has five husbands, she's a whore, she, he told about her. So he, he used like, because, why? Because he, because he was associating with bad people, Karna also, his intelligence became like that. So his goal was also like that. So today we are hearing, because if I repeat again and again, then you can remember. Karna so kar oh. Karna Gurudas. is called Tamasik yeah. Gurudas. Yeah. Means the servants in the mode of ignorance. Servants of Guru. I told this today in the morning, right? That he learned all the knowledge from Parashuram, yes. But Bhagavan is nothing less. Today in the morning I told him. Do you know? That Karna was with for one year with Parashuram. Because Parashuram told for 21 times I killed all the Kshatras of the earth. Because at that time the, par the Kshatras were very evil persons. They, the, the Kshatras would only like uh, take all the money from the people and do bad things. So that's why Parashuram for 21 times with his uh, ex, you know, ex, he did killed all the kshatras of the earth. And then he was taking rest. So he said, I'll not teach anything except I only uh, teach to brahmanas, not to anyone else. But Karna, Karna came, Karna first tried to learn from Dronacharya, you know, and then he came to Parashuram also, Karna, and told, him, oh sorry, I am the son of a Brahmana, so he lied, Karna lied, you know, he, he lied, and then he learned the Shastras, the Astra means the knowledge of war, war and weapons, by lying to Parashuram, so, but, but Bhagavan also arranged that one day what happened, Parashuram and Karna, they were wandering the forest, and they were about to finish, like the teachings, I mean the learning was about to end. Like the teachings, like you know, they were the Parashuram was teaching to Karna and all this time of teaching was about to finish. So Parashuram wanted to take rest and Karna said, Gurudev, sit on my thigh and take rest. And then Swayam Bhagavan, God himself, this Vajrakit means this kind of insects that came and start biting and stinging the thigh of Karna actually was none himself, was God himself. Bhagavan came in the form of the in insect and start to make a hole in the thigh of Karna, like stinging, biting, making, making a hole, this insect. Actually Bhagavan himself came in the form of this insect. And then Parashuram saw that his head was full of blood. So Parashuram said, how all this blood came here? So Karana told, ah, because this bad, in, like terrible, like a um, very bad, like terrible insect came and he started making, like biting me and making this hole in my thigh. That's why. Then Parashuram said, why didn't you wake me up? Didn't you wake me up? Why didn't you say anything? Then Karana said, Gurudev, I didn't want to wake you up from your dream. 
That's why I didn't see anything, Guru Dev. I didn't want to disturb your, your, your sleepiness. So this looks like, oh, Guru Sevaka. The Karmis will say, oh, look how much Guru Seva he's doing. No, Karna. Because he didn't wake up from his dream. Like, didn't want to wake, wake Guru Dev up. No? But Shastra is saying, no. He's not actually this Guru Seva. And then he... Then the Parashuram said, Foolish, are you Brahmana or Kshatriya? Because a Brahmana would never be able to be so tolerant like that. Certainly you are a Kshatriya. But I had, I did a vow that I would never teach any other uh, except for a Brahmana. But you, by like lying, hypocrisy, like uh, duplicity, you learned from me. So you know what will happen? When you need the knowledge the most, you'll forget everything. So, okay, you'll remember all your knowledge. But, so that's why we see in the Mahabharata war, what happened is that when Karna, 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 they were fighting like a very, like a, you know, they were in the, the duel, you know, the duel, duel, very like a harsh, like a strong duel, like they were fighting to each other. And then his, his will of his chariots, Kar Karna's, Karna's will of his chariots, was stuck in the mud, like when he tried to lift the wheel up, then Arjuna attacked him and he had forgotten all the knowledge because that time he did it the most, did, Karna needed the most. So, so he died because of this, he really forgot, like he couldn't use the knowledge when he most needed. Okay, he's serving the Guru, Karna. But with the Tamasik Bhav, if the Tamasik Bhav means what? Ignorance, ignorant mood. Is that you want to make the others feel bad, you want to like be better than others, like you want to make the others feel lower. So that's why he has this tamasic and third tamasic mood. So the third name of Gurudas, here we see the name of Bhishma Pitamaha. Bhishma Pitamaha is an example of Rajasik Gurudas. He's in the example of the mode of passion. Early in the morning today we explained about this. Another name of Bhishma Pitamaha is Devavrata, right? Devavrata. And Devavrata made a vow. He said, I'll not get married and also I'll never sit in the throne, like I'll not be king. And with whoever sits in the throne of uh, Hastinapur, I will protect this person in this throne just like this person was my own father. So he did this vow, you know, Bhishma Pitamaha. But he kidnapped just to show his prowess like his strength he kidnapped three daughters of the king of Kashi these three girls name was uh, Amba, Ambika, Yambalika so Amba, Yambalika Ambika and Ambalika they got married with Vichitraviria and uh, What's the name of the other? Chitra, Chitranga, Chitranga, then? Sorry, Guru Deva. So, but Amba, 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 this another sister said, I already love, I already love another prince, so I cannot marry to your brother. So you took me, so now you have to marry me. But uh, Bhishma Tamaha said, oh, I already, I already made a vow that I will not marry. So she, Amba told, why did you then uh, steal us, like kidnap us? We think, do you think we are buffaloes, we are cows? Actually, her other two sisters married to just one man, the brother of Bhishma Pitamaha. Sorry, I, I, Vijita Vira, I think the name, right? His other brother had already died, isn't it? So, okay. So Amba was very upset, <coughs> this another sister, and <coughs> so he told, <coughs> okay, so, so Amba, she came and to, she complained to the guru of Bhishma, Parashuram. And 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 uh, Parashuram said, "Oh, she's true. Bishma, you should you should marry her." So Parashuram told the Bishma, "Why did you steal the like kidnap her if you're not going to marry her? You should fight me then. You should marry her, otherwise you fight me." So Parashuram he started fighting his own guru, and it was a like a um, very strong fight. Like strong, I mean like a very harsh. Like a, how do you say in English? Like asihad means. Very difficult fight means they were very like uh, too much. How do you say? 
So you see, Guru and disciple fighting each other. Like the fight was so like intense, intense, you know, because both are so powerful. This is what I mean. Okay, then Brahma Ji came and pacified the situation. Brahma. So, actually, there is not any spirituality in this. All of these examples we are giving, there's n there's no any spiritual thing. There was no spiritual reason. That's why disciples like this, like Bhishma, they are giving examples as a Rajasik disciple, like in the mode of passion. Then, let's speak about Paramartic disciple. Now, Paramartic means spiritual, spiritual. Now we're talking about spiritual. So, Satvik Gurudas, example is of Upamanyu and Aruni. From here, we begin the Paramartic. Means the spiritual servants of Guru. The other ones, they were. I think, yeah, fierce struggle. It was a fierce struggle. In the in the other examples, actually, it was just about like a society giving honor, about this other. Uh, I already have to finish my harikata, but I want to speak two words about this. Before I finish my kata, I want to speak two words. Today, our the very dearest, the top, like the dearest uh, of Gurudev, he was like the emperor of the Kirtan. He actually, he, he was so favorable to Gurudev's moods. He used to do the Kirtan according, favorable to Gurudev's moods. You all know his name. Our Krishna Das Prabhuji. He used to do kirtan in such a beautiful way. Sometimes Gurudeva used to become absorbed in bhav, crying, crying when he was singing. Whichever kirtan from Sri Guru Charana Padma, Gurudeva Kripa Bindiya, all the kirtans, he, he was singing so sweetly, all the kirtans and naturally. In the time of Gurudeva, also you must have seen how many Kirtaniyas were there. Shishai Prabhu, and also so many, like Kanai Prabhu, Gauranga Prabhu, many Kirtaniyas, big Kirtaniyas from Bengal also, Sadhu Maharaj also. But if you see the Kirtans of all of them, and also other God brothers like Sudarshana Prabhu, what is his name? Tamal Krishna Prabhu also. They all, in the time of Gurudev, they used to do kirtan, this is true. But Gurudev used to like the most our Krishna Das Prabhuji. And also he was doing the, the kirtan according to, to more according to Gurudev's bhavas. Everybody will accept this like uh, together, like in like everybody everybody agrees with this because it, yes. In the childhood, he left his home. He came. In which year he came? I think he came in the 80s. Maybe it's written in the internet which year he came. I came when I was 21 or 20 years old. He came to the temple when he was 10 years old. He was a youngest, very small, very young when he came. So, those who take shelter of Guru before, they are higher than you. They are like, later you, you see if the person is bigger or in the bhajan, like he's higher in, sh in, 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 in bhakti. But the Shastra is saying those who took shelter of Guru before you, 
they are like more like higher than you like uh, better than you this is the first conception so actually he's my just a guru brata means he's my higher god brother because when i came he was already maybe for two years in the temple or three like he was he came before me so he gave up his body certainly he has gone to search to serve gurudev there's no doubt because he was so dear to gurudev especially gurudev is a sparsha money if, if i tell the truth some people become angry with me like why are you speaking speaking like that because gurudev was like a sparsha money means touchstone if even a touchstone can change material things the touchstone makes the iron becomes gold so i think that touchstone is not even a proper word to speak about gurudev this is very like not so good word because not so exactly too less to speak about gurudev because those who took shelter of gurudev and are serving gurudev without the priest and hypocrisy certainly they will serve the guide they, they will serve Radha and Krishna under guidance of the like, Gurudev maybe the person's bhajan is not uh, complete not uh, ripened not uh, finished yet his bhajan the person's bhajan but Gurudev will give the service you see how for how many thousands of years the Drishis they were doing bhajan in Treta Yuga and they saw Bhagavan Ramachandra they felt that bhaving their hearts and by mercy of Bhagavan Ramachandra in Dwapara Yuga they were born in the house of gopis they got gopi bhav and then they could enter the ras everything like this is written it's in the Shastra or not and also this Ram Ramachandra Ramachandra had come in the 24th Chatra Yuga but, but Krishna came in the 28th so tell me so in our conception it looks like long time no but for the uh, for Lord this is just a blink of an eye all these four chatter yugas but how is this possible don't don't doubt don't doubt this so those who took shelter of Gurudev however like they took the shelter in whichever way somehow Gurudev will give them service like in any time externally from our vision we see the each other's faults but actually this bhav of the soul by doing bhajan slowly slowly the person realizes this and then when the time comes just like a snake just like a snake gives up his skin and goes this loka basamsi jirnani from Bhagavad Gita, Gita explains that this body is like a cloth old cloth or an out cloth so for the Bada Jiva, he changed material body now the gross body and gives up in other body like uh, is born in other body but for the Vaishnavas this is not true otherwise the Siddhanta will be not not proper according to Siddhanta so this loka Bhagavad Gita that says that this body is just like a cloth and it becomes old you change cloth and buy a new cloth like this this cloth the, sorry this verse is only for ordinary bada jivas ordinary conditioned souls but those who take shelter of guru and once they take shelter in the feet of guru and they take guru mantra from guru diksha there's they don't need to take birth again and take another birth in another body okay externally we see they are giving up their body but actually they are getting their siddha sarup and going ahead to take shelter of sadhu guru a bona fide guru this is the thing that's why for a long time we've been speaking about guru das guru bruva 
Sorry, Shishya Bhru was... We were speaking about these kinds of disciples of Guru, but later Guru Dev will speak about this. So in the same context, I want to say that those who took shelter of Guru Dev, took shelter of the feet of Guru Dev, and even a little bit if they serve to Guru Dev, Guru Dev becomes pleased. I'll tell you one small story of Ramayana. My mother used to tell me this story. I remember a lot when my mother used to read the Ramayana. You know that in Bengal they, they read a lot the Kirtivasi Ramayana. Is generally the Bengalis, Bengali people, they read Kirtivasi Ramayana. It's a Ramayana in Bengali. Here in North India they read the Ramcharitmanas more. So I remember, I remember until nowadays this Katha of Ramayana. I was thinking about this today that when they made that, that uh, uh, bridge of on the ocean, right, with the stones. So this animal was jumping in the water and then rolling on the sand and, and going to the stone and putting this this story is in the Kirtibasi Ramayana, okay? So they were building the stone, okay? The, the bridge over the ocean. And then Hanuman saw this this, this Ah, okay, I, I understood. Yeah. Then uh, what happened? Hanuman said, we are serving so much, bringing all these stones. And this small animal is just helping with a little bit, uh, with a little bit uh, sand, even laughing. And, and then they even, they, they com complained to this animal, don't do that. And then... Ram you know, it was like a squirrel, squirrel, you know the squirrel? Then Ramachandra, he was, this, this animal, like a squirrel, came and took shelter of Ram. And then Ram, and Ram did like, uh, with his hand, he rubs on the back of this animal, like a squirrel or like Gamba, I forgot that name. It's like a mammal, like a big rat or something. So, and that then Ramachandra, because of Ramachandra's hands, he has five lines, white lines in his back. And so nowadays, this kind of animal, you know, they have this white line in the back. So actually, Bhagavan is not seeing small or big your, your, your service, because God didn't give the same power to everyone. Oh, I want to keep, sing like Krishna does. No, but for me, it's not possible. God didn't give me this kind of a throat to be able to sing nicely, understand? He used to do kirtan so nicely. So, Bhagavan gives potency to different kinds of jivas to do different different things, you know? So, so in the temple, we see that if God gives the potency to someone, according to their potency that God gives, they do everything. So like a... Oh. So God gives some kind of potency to different jivas. So according to the potency he gave, in the temple we give according to the potency that God gives to different people. According to this potency that God gave, they do different things. Like according to their capacity, you know. So God, in Hindi some problem here, I don't know. But don't worry because later we can try to go back and, and watch if it's available later. Uh, it's stuck. It's coming back again and again to the same point. Uh, now I came back, I think. 
you see the bhav. And he used to come before everyone. He's speaking about Krishna's Prabhu. He was no la not lazy. He also used to do all the kinds of service. I saw him cooking. All kinds of service he used to do. In the time of Gurudev, all the brahmacharis, they had to do all kinds of service. Even he used to cook very nicely. So he did so much service to Gurudev. Then according to the Leelas of Vaishnavas, who knows? Guru knows. And Bhagavan knows. All this preaching of in Western countries nowadays, actually, he has so much contribution in this preaching. Because he used to go with Gurudev traveling. And he used to serve Gurudev without duplicity. So without duplicity. So in the Shastra says that those who serve the Guru, they are uh, very dear to us. Even a small boy. Like he, he went and after Navdi Parikrama, I think from here he had gone to Navdeep and then Gurudev brought him back here. I've seen in his time other boys also came. But one by one, I don't know where is where they have gone. But Krishna Das never left Gurudev. Until Gurudev was in this world, he never left Gurudev. Those other boys who had come that time, they went here and there. But Krishna Das, this is his speciality was, he had so much nishta to Gurudev. He had Guru Nishta, this was his speciality. And Gurudev was so happy with him, so pleased with him. Later he got married, no problem. You know, because birth, death and marriage, they are coming to, according to your karmas, that, let's not talk like, but how much Guru Seva he did. Everybody was happy. Especially in the time of Brahmandala Parikrama. How beautiful Kirtans used to make. Everybody became like a, a, amazed, like astonished. Because people, not everybody have taste for Harikata to enter Siddhanta. Not everyone likes this, you know, Harikata. Because this is Kali Yuga now. If you speak so much Siddhanta, Kata, our, our heads become like spinning. Like dizzy, yeah. you, it's so much, you know. But if you do some kirtan in the middle, yeah. you see, your mind will be, it will be diver like diverted, like and amused also, it will, you like. So many times also, if me also, when, when I was doing Bhagavad Sapta in Delhi or In Punjab also, Gujarat, he also came along. Two times he went with me, or three times he came with me. Even he came when I went to Madhya Pradesh, he also came with me. Or wherever I went, many times he traveled with me. But be before he's doing Aswasta Lila, this, um, this sickness pastimes, before I had already booked with him to go with me to Gujarat, but because his health was not good, he had to cancel. So he had so much seva with him, tendency to serve. So whatever qualities God gave to you, these qualities you have to serve Guru and Vaishnavas with this. Maharaj will speak now and tomorrow also we'll speak more about him. Today, listening about this news early in the morning, I felt so sad, so upset. And also we left, I went with Maharaj, we went there and the brahmacharis also. And also brahmacharis from Vrindavana, we went there to see him. We went to his house, we sat a little bit and we did some kirtan there. Jani Premadhan, or the Prabhuji's were there, everyone. And then after that, some Brahmachari stayed there to help the duties, the rituals that had to be done. 
What time you did like the burning the body? Daha samskar means like burning. I I don't know the proper name. Cremação. Like the what time did you did? Maharaj is saying we saw online uh, because we were taking prashad okay. at that time and then you were uh, giving they, they they burned the body exactly in the prashad on time we saw live uh-huh. okay maybe 1 or 1 p.m 1 30 p.m it's okay if it's like so like this cremation yes thanks cremation so Bhagav- God, Gurudev may be merciful to him, this is very good. Actually, he's, he, that he stays in the Nitya Seva of Gurudev. Maharaj will speak something about him as well. I'll just come back to that part which was having some problem. But I think the recording also had the problem. So just in the end, about the potency. Right. Okay, he's talking about that animal, like that squirrel. I think squirrel, like that kind of a uh, rat, you know, big rat, nice. Uh, and then the Krish, um, what happens? Because he was just helping a little bit, just putting this uh, this sand. Okay, let's speak from him. Okay, so this this uh, animal this memo he was he was coming in the water and then he was like make w- wetting his body then he was like putting so much sand in his body then coming on the top of the of the stones and putting the sand there like uh, in the bridge of the bridge of ramachandra to lanka this story is in the kirtivasa ramayana so Hanuman saw this and said we are serving so much but this animal is just doing this like so little and Bhagavan Ramachandra he left when he saw this and he was laughing and left 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 and then Hanuman and the other monkeys they chastised this this like squirrel or mammal like a I forgot the proper name so so this like a squirrel. He uh, took shot of Ramchandra and, and Ramchandra did this mark with his fingers on the back of this animal. You can see you can see these five like uh, like uh, lines in the back of this animal until nowadays. Because Bhagavan says according to the Shakti you have you serve accordingly you know because nobody's big or small in the service of God the bhav is what the God is seeing the God God is seeing your bhav that's why it says bhavagrahi janardana God accepts your mood Bhagavan Bhagavan gave different potency to everyone to each person not everybody has the same shakti so if I if I want to sing like Krishna does for me it's not possible because Bhagavan didn't give me this potency to sing nicely. You understand? He used to do Kirtan in such a beautiful way. So God gave different potency to different people according to the potency. In the temple also we, we saw that according to the potency that God gave, people were all were serving differently. So he used to serve and to Gurudev sing according to the mood of Gurudev like Gurudev gave no, some preaching and according to, Guru, to the mood of that bhav that Gurudev had in that preaching in that harikata yeah. he used to speak Deco, to sing the, the kirtan according yeah. to Gurudev's bhav you see how he is Krishna does and he used to come before yeah. everyone he was not lazy not at all yeah. 
So this we are already translating. It just okay. Jai Slagur Dev ki Jai Krishna Das Prabhu Ji ki Jai. Okay. 